behind me there's a talkative friend, a grouse. Just made friends with it, him or her, I don't know. I think it must be a boy because boys are normally more colourful in nature. Hello, today is the 29th of February. It only happens once in four years and I'm in the forest of Boland. Behind me there's Woodstone, that's where I'm running to. I've already been to Claffer Pike and Gridfell. I left it behind me. I'm doing a long run, I don't know how long it's going to be, maybe 9 or 10 miles altogether. And I'm also heading to this sculpture called The Three Seats by, I can't remember his name, Goldsworthy William or Andrew. We'll have to look it up. <laughs> Tears are coming out of my eyes because of the wind. Look at that, that behind you also, this is famous Christmas tree that some fair runners decorate for Christmas. There's still some, a little bit of Christmas decorations left, but most of the times they take all of them off. I started my 10 mile fell run from Rig Lane Car Park in Quenmore near Lancaster. And all of this area where I'm going to be running is in the forest of Boland. It's slippery. This wood is slippery. Like a causeway made out of wood. Wow, look at this. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. It's very flooded, so after all of the rain. My god. Not sure where to stand. I'm just gonna. All these gauze bushes are flowering now. Flipping hell. Woo! This is really. I learned this route from my friend Mick, who showed it to me last year. We ran it in March and it was even snow at the top, but this year it didn't snow very much. My first destination is Claffer Pike, which is 416 meters high. I can't remember which way. Beautiful. It's like a, I don't know, a reservoir a lake there. Something. I love stones like that. Claffer Pike there. I think the, originally these stones were from the sea. They look like they were washed with the sea. Because uh, Morecambe Bay is not far from here. It's not easy to run here because there are all these stones underfoot. And you don't know where to put your feet. It's not too bad right now, but most of the time it's very stony. See like this. <laughs> I don't know, I can't run on here and it's going up as well. It's good exercise in climbing. My thighs are working and my lungs are working. Here they are, the grouse. It's not talking now, but very often they sound like they're talking. I think. Let's look at it. There they are. <laughs> what noise they make and sometimes they're just hiding hiding in between these rocks and heather and then all of a sudden they pop out when I'm not ready to film them that hill at a distance is Claffer Pike nearly there very windy every time I come here it's so cold and windy here It is Waffle Pike. There. So you can see Morgan Bay from there. It's the shelter. That's where I came from. From Claffer Pike, I headed towards Great Fell, which is 468 meters high. It's very boggy here. Very boggy. No speed. This is it. 
This is Great Fell. Uh, 1,263 yards. It's similar to a meters. I don't know what the... How long... I think yard is nearly a meter, isn't it? Well, you can really see more Bay there. See mergers from the sky on the camera, but with my eyes I can see it so well. And now I'm off towards Stone. Not sure how long it is from here. At the top of that hill, Nigel has your favourite Christmas tree. It looks tiny from here, but it's grown quite a lot from last time, from last year. It's not decorated now. We've taken the Christmas decorations off it. Behind me there's Wardstone, that's where I'm running to. I've already been to Clapper Pike and Grid Fell. So here is where I crossed the Cinders Pass. I think on the way back I'll just run along it. Not all the way down. And then I carry on towards Wardstone. I don't know if this is supposed to be a pond or what, or is it just flooded from the rain? It looks pondy. I'm glad there are these white poles every now and then to see the way. You can still see the path, but it's very washed out with the water. Uh, I forgot to tell you, when I was a bit worried to go out by myself, because it's very boggy here, and I thought, if I touch wood cross fingers, fall in the bog and drown, nobody would even know where I'm going. So I sent a message to my family where I was going and also sent a message to Mick who I came here with last year. He showed me this route. So when you go out by yourself, Make sure you let people know where you're going. This is my final ascent towards the Wardstone. When I finish it eventually, it's going to be about 1,700 feet elevation. It's very windy, that's why I'm shouting. Go with stones. I need to keep running, I'm not quite at the top. Look at this beauty, pure nature, let's touch the stone, there it is. There I am, at the top of what stone, look at this, gorgeous. not as windy. I can't hear any wind now. I'm going inside it now. I'm hiding away from the wind. Where am I? Instead of carrying on running along the cinders path, I turned off right so off the main track. Stony under feet as well. Underfoot. All right, it's better than the Cinder's Pass. There's a grouse. That's where we have this beautiful waterfall, this beautiful cloth. There it is. So much water there because of the recent rain. Look how beautiful.
I had to stop here in this cloth galley to admire the view of this magnificent waterfall. Look at it! The main thing is not to slip and not to drop my phone into the stream. I oh, it's not too bad here. I think. Yeah, it's alright. I crossed it. I left the stream behind me. Now I'm running up a little bit. There are loads of sheep in my in my way. They're probably gonna move. That's a beautiful valley as well. Gorgeous. Look at the sheep is there they are. So many of them. Colourful. Green and blue and red. That's nine miles. Now eventually this path comes out onto this cinders pass that I turned off from but this path was so much more picturesque even though it wasn't fast running there it is comes out onto the cinders pass so sheep what shall I do shall I go through the gate or shall I climb the stile? I think I'll climb the stile. I think it's more fun to climb up, climb over the stile instead of going over the gate. I just had a little consultation with the sheep. They agreed, so that's the stile. I had my jacket on all the way, all the way on my run because the wind is so cold even though the temperature is not bad I think it's about 10 degrees maybe maybe a bit lower but in the wind it feels very very cold this thing just passes me the finish now I avoided it by going up to the hill pass now I'm going to the viaduct like that bridge look behind me there's a talkative friend a grouse just made friends with it him or her I don't know I think it must be a boy because boys are normally more colorful in nature and my dream came true I wanted to see them quite close all the other ones were flying away he's talking I like his conversation Oh, look at it. It's cute. Hello, grouse. And now it's just over the viaduct and back to the car park to complete my ten and a half mile loop. Now over this style. That's I'm on top of the bridge now. Beautiful. Nearly there, nearly back at the car park. What's that car park called? Big Lane Car Park. Sheep are starting to run with me. Oh, I caught up with the sheep. What an achievement. I hope you enjoyed watching this running or hiking loop in the forest of Boland. I will leave the Strava route for it in the description below.